Hey guys, it's the Fact Freak, and today we're talking about Philip Schofield's TikTok victims. Now, if you don't know, I'm going to start from the far side there. The man at the far side with the glasses is Princess Flu, aka Adam Page. They have been featured regularly on this channel, and the guy right here is Sobriety Jack, also a regular on this channel. So if you've been living under a rock and have no idea what Schofield has done, well, he admitted to having an affair with a colleague from this morning, but that colleague he met when he was 15 years old and when Philip was in his 40s. Not only that, but Philip Schofield's brother has recently been jailed for, you can read it there, guys, so that brings people's attention back around to Philip and how trustworthy is he? Is there more to it? Has he done more? And that leads on to our TikTok victims, Sobriety Jack and Princess Flu. I am a victim of Philip Schofield. Philip Schofield sexually harassed me and touched me while I'd done filming in ITV. Judge Rinder. I'm very ashamed by this. So yeah, Princess Flu, who featured on this episode of Judge Rinder, reckons that that is when this horrible act took place. Now, of course, I just had a quick search, and would you believe, guys, that Judge Rinder isn't even filmed in the same place. Judge Rinder, since 2014, has been filmed at Doc 10 Studios, which is in Manchester. Now, it's not impossible if Phil thought that Princess Flu was worth looking up. He could have drove the four hours between Manchester Studios and the studio in London where this morning was filmed. This morning was at that location at the same year that Flu was filming at Judge Rinder. But anyway, Princess Flu still has a lot to say about it. After filming with ITV, you are then taken to a hotel where you're provided with food and comforts as you wish and late night visits, half 11, 12 o'clock at night. I thought this was normal. I did think it was strange at the time. And that brings us on to our next TikTok victim of Philip Schofield, Sobriety Jack, who was actually on this morning where he met Philip Schofield and told them how he basically wasted £20,000 to try and make himself look like David Beckham. But according to Sobriety Jack, there was a darker activity and purpose for him being there and jack went live to explain just how dark and twisted those things were now i haven't seen this video fully so i'm going to do my best to react to it and get through this with you guys before this come on tiktok or anywhere else about his brother i said this last year now i've got to say that Sobriety Jack did say this last year. He did make a video claiming that Philip Schofield had assaulted him. He also made a video claiming that he died. Uh, <laughs> and we know how many videos he's made saying that he's sober and then not sober the next day. Or that his gifts are going towards his sobriety and then the gifts are going towards gin and tonics. Um not exactly somebody I would trust with my life. I did. I said it before it came out in the press about anything about Philip. I'm being honest with my mum's life, dad's ashes, and I said it all. How can you swear on your dad's ashes? Swearing on your mum's life, I totally get, but swearing on your dad's ashes? I don't get it. I said it all. Jack. Um, I can't believe Pulley. This this is Pulley, right? Some of you guys might know who Pulley is. Ben is new to me. Uh, he's been doing this TikTok court thing. Um, what a weird bunch of people, though, to be confessing this to. Mm. 
no, no, not like I, I don't know, don't take this wrong way, but like, what is that? What, like, how come you're upset about it? Why? Because Philip Schofield in 2016 session sword mayor and made me wank him off. Wow. I didn't see that on the episode of Good Morning I watched. I like it was. Oh, this is another clip, obviously, of him talking about it. I thought it was. And he was in the town when he came in. I didn't think we were there, I thought. Didn't think nothing of it. Right, like Philip? Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I want to look like David Beckham. 20 grand. Yeah, I use benefits. Wait, what? Like... My outfit's too cute. Oh my god, I love it. I'm in a relationship. <laughs> I'll just say, guys, obviously, essays and stuff is a horrendous thing. And who knows? Jack could be telling the truth. If you're a victim of any sort of assault like that, please contact your local police force or any sort of support groups that may be able to help. Um... I would never advise that if you've gone through something as Jack is claiming to have gone through to put multiple videos out about it on social media. Report it to the police, guys. Yeah, it would be the court case of the century. I mean, if you were Jack's solicitor, you would not want him taking the stand, would you? I can't sling a sentence together. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I can't handle it up here. Because I don't talk to I mean, you know, this guy clearly does have mental health issues, and so does Princess Flu, who we focused on before. Um... And it's very concerning because you wonder, like, I don't know. Do, I just I don't know. Like, God knows. You guys must tell me in the comment section of this video what you think about all this. Do you believe any of it? Do you have any words of advice for them? Looking up to him. So he was on his knees when he was... <laughs> No. I was 19. It was the 26th of September. Oh, so according to Princess Flunes and Brightery Jack, he has a thing for Baldy. <laughs> I mean, like, we've all seen the guy that Philip Schofield has got with, which is, you know, that's a whole other video in itself. But they don't exactly look like either of these two, do they? 2016. It happened between... Between nipping off to Judge Rinder to give Princess Flu one and then coming back for you. Ten, from 10 20 over to 10 40. So what? I hope that wasn't AM. So that would be in the middle of filming. Oh, I know the time there, isn't it, babe? babe? I mean, him knowing everything up there, I very much doubt it. So there you have it, guys. There's our look. It Philip Schofield's TikTok victims. Now, if you're watching this live on the premiere, we're heading over to Twitch to discuss this in more detail. Twitch is a free app, guys. You can download it anywhere you get your apps. Once you set up there, search The Fact Freak. Over on Twitch, we also react to predator stings, do behind the deep dives, and create some of our investigations while live there. So it's worth coming and joining that community. There are other ways to support this channel in the more information bit below this video. And if you like the video, guys, please hit that thumbs up. And if you watch me and you're not following me, what are you doing? Hit that follow button. And don't forget, most importantly, to let us know what you think of Philip Schofield's TikTok victims in the comment section. Peace.